Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Lures, Eagle Claw Trocar Hooks, Yozerti Fish the Best, and yucatansenote.com. Live the adventure. Coming up in this episode, I'm hooking up with my good friend Javier, and we're gonna take you fishing to Celestoon, a short hour drive from our home base here in Progresso. And we're gonna go see what kind of luck we have today. Stay tuned. Well, folks, welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV. I'm really, really excited about today because I've hooked up with my good friend, Javier. We call him Hobble Hunter. This guy has one of the biggest and best turkey hunting outfitters here in Camp, well, in the Yucatan, in Campeche. And I finally got him to go fishing with me, and he knows how to fish. So uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys do with your turkey hunting. Well, we have a, a big hunting concession in Campeche. Uh, we have plentiful oscillated turkey and brocket deer. Uh, Great Curacao, a bunch of other jungle species. Uh, very sought after by American hunters that want to do their uh, world slam on turkeys. Very awesome. And this guy knows how to fish. Just so, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I'm really excited about today. We're just gonna target whatever's gonna hit our lures. We're hoping, we're hoping, he, well, our guide said there's a couple of big 20 pound to 50 pound tarpon in here, but we're gonna see if we can catch us some snook this morning. Whatever's gonna hit our lure. So y'all stay with us. We're getting ready to go fishing. So we're just kind of trolling through this harbor area here. Trying to locate some snook first and foremost. Last week Habo was fishing here on a Sunday. Not as much boat traffic. But this old boy caught 15 nice size. Good line size, let me tell you. So it made me really excited to come up here. But we're just kind of trolling our Yozertis. We'll go down about five or six feet. See if we can get a strike. But we'll stop and we can kind of cast the area for them. So it really kind of amazes me that we're able to troll along this close to the shoreline with all these boats, all this boat activity, and these snook which just laying down here as we were passing in front of all that activity, and I'm still feeling it. Tink, 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 tink. The bait fish, the little tiny amberjack just kind of tinking that lure. I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Fish off, ah, fish off, fish off, ah. Yes, a play. Oh, he came and got Javier. Yeah, ah, yes, a play. You guys suck. <laughs> I think that was Mio, and he went for years. He got off and seen yours. Fish off, fish off. Got 
Stay shot, stay shot. Stay shot. Nice little snook. All right, Pablo and I are about tied, one to one. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. This segment is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, Eagle Claw Trocar Hooks, Yozuri, fish the best. So we're going to give that uh, first area that we were just fishing for those snook where we each caught one just a little break. There's a lot of boat traffic going up to the gas station there. Uh, we're going to make our way back here into this back area closer to the bridge. A couple of the fishermen were telling us this morning there was just loaded with tarpon back here, baby tarpon. So we're going to make our way back in here slowly and see if we can get us a tarpon on this morning to add to our snook. That would just rock. So the problem about catching a tarpon right here is all these ropes from the boats. If it's a decent sized one, it'll take off running and most likely break off in one of these anchor ropes. We gotta get one on first to see if that actually happens. The other day, brother? The whisperer. Ah, uh, she's under the boat. She's under the boat. Ah, Lavante, Lavante, Lavante. Cuidado, cuidado, cuidado. Hey, put your tip down. Try to get it. Oh, uh, no, Sarla. Ah, there she is. Here she comes. 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 Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's really cool trolling here. We don't do much trolling back in Progresso for our fish. We cast for them. This trolling is awesome because you feel every little tiny bite. You feel them just as well? Yeah, yeah little... getting in and bait fish and striking at it and missing it. Just kind of anticipate a bite at every second. The possibility is there. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico. Inshore fishing television. Right. Not a big one. There you go. Good table fare right there. Nice little line cider, little baby snook. You want to keep this one for lunch? You want absolutely. All right. Bigger, much bigger than that. 
have a side and catch each corner, but it's a nice one. So again, this is about uh, this small size. We're going to go ahead and release this one. Nice little line cider, little snook. He's a fun to catch when you throw him, boy. I'll tell you what, they just slam that lure. the biggest snook in the day. That's a nice one. We lost a much bigger than that. I, I would say twice that size. Or more, 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 yeah. Good, good snook. Good snook. Good fun. First time I fished here in Celestune. So I'm really excited that Javier invited me to come down and fish with him today. This has been, uh, been a lot of fun, I have to say. And I'm not much of a trolling guy, but God, these fish are rolling all through here. Look at that. Nice one. Nice pretty snow. Nice pretty snow. Good eating side. Get in the box you go. What, well, brother? That was an awesome day, man. It was Javier, fun. thank Definitely. you very much for inviting me down here to fish with you. And where are we at, Celestine? Yep. Quick hour drive from Progresso, 45 minutes from Medida. If you guys are coming down this way, you know, look us up. We can put you in contact with any of the guides down here. And listen, I'm going to put your information up on the screen here, sure. how people can get in touch with your tan cob outfitting business for turkey hunting. Sure. And, Thanks. uh, Man, you're going to enjoy your lunch, aren't you? Yeah, some, some good dinner and lunch. <laughs> Y'all, thanks for joining us for this episode of Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Adios. Adios. One. Well, folks, welcome back to the second half of our show. We are again here in Celestune, Yucatan, Mexico, and I'm again fishing with my good friend, Javier. You know, the first half of the show was really exciting. We caught a lot of snook, we caught a tarpon, but then we wrapped the day up and you stuck around for another hour, didn't you? Yeah. What happened? Well, went around again and uh, got lucky with a nice tarpon. About a 30 pound tarpon. And a nice snook as well. Yeah, it was about a six or seven pound <laughs> snook. We didn't get it on camera, but you've just seen those pictures. We just put them up for you. It was pretty awesome. Today, we're fishing a totally new area. We're in what we call the Ria. Last, uh, the, the first half of the show, we were in the marina area trolling. We're gonna be casting our lures here in the shallow water Ria. This is a beautiful setting. First time ever fishing here, so have you ever fished out here before? Nope. First time too. So this should be all new for us. Captain Jose and Captain Kino, they tell me there's some robalo in here, some snook. So we're gonna go see if we can get lucky and well, just whatever hits our lure today. Yeah. No? Yeah. All right, let's do it, brother. All right, let's go fishing. All right, so our captain says we're gonna troll for the snook in this canal, which is about two meters deep, probably six, seven foot deep. So we've got our Yozertis on, Javier and I both do, and we're going to uh, get into the channel. When he tells us to toss them, we'll throw them out here this morning and see what we can get hooked up. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. This segment is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, Eagle Claw Chokar Hooks, Yozuri, Fish the Best. I got him a fish on. What'd you get? A little amberjack. Little amberjack. But you got your skunk out of the boat for today.
Well, first time fishing in the Rio. Quite a disappointment, I have to say. Big one, yeah. yeah. It, it looked really fishy, but just fish no were not fish. There. Just yeah. not there. One little snook attack. You got that Jack Cravel. That was it. That was it. I'll have to Beautiful do it. Beautiful place, though. Lots of flamingos. It, you know, you can't Kitties, beat the beauty Osprey, of it. Osprey, but yeah. Either they were not hungry or they are just not there. Well, folks, thanks for joining us on this week's episode of Yucatan Anglers TV. Stay tuned because next week we're going to take you to another fabulous location here in the Yucatan. And pray to the fish gods we're going to catch some fish. Adios. Adios. Folks, welcome to this week's Fish Bits. We have three exciting ones for you. The first one, my friend Javier and his son and his wife Andy came back over here to sell us tune. And believe it or not, five-year-old Hobo Jr. hooked up this 30-pound tarpon, 20-pound tarpon, on a Mickey Mouse rod. Dave's got him good. Our Captain Gary here at Progresso hooks up a nice tarpon, gets a good fight out of it. Get him, Gary. Get him, Gary. He said no. He said no. Once again, tore them up this morning. We got our two tarpon in the boat within 20 minutes. Pull them on up here, Gary. There you go, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good king. All right, let's go ahead and let her go. Wait till she's done. Wait till she's done. Yes. Yeah. And my third and final fish bit for this week's show, my friend Chris hooks onto a, a tarpon, his first ever, and got that proverbial last jump. Spit it out. Coming up next, the fresh catch of the day. Today we'll enjoy two flavors of the Yucatan. We're having bocanete, which is a hogfish or snapper, as well as speckled sea trout. Plated with the customary rice and veggies, simple yet delicious Yucatecan dish. Folks, follow us on all your favorite media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.